man. Awesome, dude. I lost $1,200 in online poker. $1,200. <laughs> That's great. Uh, My girlfriend was so pissed. Hey, are we starting the interview now? Yeah, yeah, just one second. These guys over here are really funny. Like, you're a girl. You don't get poker stuff. Like, like, poker. poker. Like, yeah, because, like, that's what you do. It's like you lose. You like, you lose. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Sarah, why don't you tell us how you got started? Oh, it's actually not Sarah. It's not from a very early age, I knew that I was gonna be a woman one day. As with all callings, you don't choose it, it chooses you. Being a woman in the entertainment industry gives you this really special opportunity to work with so many different types of men. Uh, I mean, you do have to put in your time. I mean, I did get my foot in the door as girl intern, and then I worked my way up to assistant sweetie, and then I like freelance little lady, to sorry, that's my cop. Um, anyway, and then I made my big break as associate woman, and finally, woman. This is a coffee. Yeah, uh, I'm doing this interview right now, right, so I, I can't... I wanted a latte, though, didn't I? Yeah, but maybe someone else could help you? Okay, thanks, ma'am. Um, that's when you know you're good. The variety keeps it so exciting. I get to be a woman, but I also get to be a on-set babysitter, a therapist, a bartender, janitor, nurse. I mean, you name it. <laughs> That's the first time that Aaron Sorkin patted my head. Being a woman is great for now, but one day I'd like to be a female director. And if we're talking dream job, director. My name is Nicole Dipp, and I am a woman. It's like when literally anybody else has an idea, he listens. But when I do it, he looks at me like I'm stupid. And like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you wouldn't understand, though. 